you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I, I want to actually really get into this signing with you. Um, Blake Griffin finally bought out by the Pistons. They, they reached an agreement. And now he has officially signed with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, how big of a move is this for Brooklyn? Uh, one, two, does this make them now the favorites to win an NBA championship this season? Well, I think that's a, a Blake Griffin to the Nets is a move that is more about depth than it is having another guy that's going to be that superstar to add to a depth lineup. I think it's more about depth because Blake Griffin, we all know he was an all-star. Um, a lot of the years that he came into the league, he was an all-star and he was known as this high flying, you know, get to the basket dunker. Um, and obviously his body has broken down since then. I don't believe he's that same guy. But we also have to realize that situation always matters. And I always say this on my podcast, situation always matters. Now that he's going to the Nets, that has something more to play for than his previous team in Detroit, now that may rejuvenate him. So we already know he evolved this game from the three-point line. Now he's shooting more threes. I believe he's around 30%, 34% from the three-point line. So now you're going to go on the Nets. I don't know if he's going to start or not. I believe he might come off the bench. But now you, you, you're you not going to be asked to do as much as you did in Detroit. So I think it's a good situation. You know, um, the Nets, they want to they wanna win now. They win now mode, clearly, by trading for James Harden. And um, obviously, DeAndre Jordan is not that same guy. So what you want is depth um, with the Nets, especially when you're trying to have size going up against the Lakers, going up against the likes of Anthony Davis, going – against the likes of Embiid, who's playing out of his mind this year. You want to have depth, and I think Blake Griffin gives him that depth. Now, like I said, I don't believe he's that same guy. I don't believe that he's that same superstar, but he gives you depth, and I think that the Nets, they want as much depth as possible going into the playoffs. Yeah, I I, I agree with you on that. Um, it's definitely a move that's going to give them a little bit more depth. Um uh, and I, w- I will say this, you know, in regards to Blake Griffin, I'm actually I'm glad that he was able to expand on his game and to 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 work on that jump shot, work on a three point shot, because had he not done that, and we're talking about a Blake Griffin right now, minus all the, all of the athleticism that made him the superstar that he was, Blake would be washed. Right now, if it, if it wasn't if it wasn't for him actually expanding it upon his game, he'd be washed up right now. He'd be useless in this league because he was one of those guys whose game was predicated off of his athleticism early on on his career. And you know, I know he used to get a lot of the Sean Kemp comparisons early on in his career because you know Sean Kemp was one of the most powerful athletic guys in the league. And once he lost that athleticism, he pretty much just flailed out. You know what I'm saying? By the time he left, you know, the, the Supersonics and he was out in Cleveland, he had gained all the weight. He didn't have that same athleticism. It was pretty much over for him. You know what I mean? And that would have been the same thing with Blake had he not expanded upon his jump shot. Um, I, I, I like the move for the Nets, again, because it does give them, give them that depth. Uh, I, I will say this, though. They need more help on the defensive end. Yeah. than they do on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, Blake, 13 points a game coming off the bench will, will be great for them. And, you know, he'll probably do do more than that on those games where Durant is out or Kyrie or Harden, one, you know, one of the big three is out. He'll be able to step in and do a little bit more. But they need help on the defensive end of the basketball, and, and Blake doesn't give them that. Um, I do think that they are the favorites to win the East, though. And to get to the NBA Finals, um, I agree with you. It is championship or bust with these moves um, that that they're making. But they did need that that depth. But again, they are going to need some help on on the defensive end. And it's a little bit it's a little bit bittersweet for me, just because I, you know you know I'm a Nets fan. You know I'm all about about Brooklyn and, and, and the borough and whatnot. But I am also a King James fan, and I've and I've, I've said you know I've said before. I want LeBron to get as many rings as possible. And then once he's, he's done, then I want the Nets to just go all in and just, you know, just, just take over and start dominating this league. Um, I do think that we are setting up 
for a, a crazy NBA playoffs this year. I'm looking forward to it. You know, Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Yeah.